Hi, welcome to rehashing session. Rehashing is the reverse process of uh, hashing here, which is used to uh, retain the uh, performance of given algorithm when we are inserting the keys into the hash table in uh, hash table memory buckets. Uh, rehashing is used to expand the uh, hash table size or array size or map uh, hash map size uh, dynamically to maintain maintain the retrieve and store the data uh, with time complexity order big o of 1 that means uh, whenever we are inserting the data uh, and also when uh, accessing the data for deletion or ser uh, uh, by searching method with the time complexity uh, uh, order of 1 um, we can increase the uh, memory, memory bucket size dynamically so for there we can apply the rehashing with some threshold value or uh, rehashing is defined as uh, uh, defined as recalculating the hash value already for already existing entries for example here uh, we have uh, we have six entries here so for the six entries uh, we have hash table size is 8 we will fix some threshold value uh, when we are inserting the uh, data into the hash table we will fix some uh, threshold value uh, before uh, increasing the hash table size you look at that we have inserted uh, six number of elements in this hash table but we have some more elements here uh, so to insert all the elements this hash table size is not sufficient so uh, in future we may add some more elements here seven elements are there suppose in future we may add 12 elements so what we need what we need to do uh, we have to increase the uh, table size we have to increase the hash table size so to make that uh, hash table into bigger size we should fix some threshold value in rehashing default threshold value in rehashing is 75 percentage of 75 percentage of the given hash table size once the 75 percentage of uh, memory size is filled in the hash table then we have to apply the rehashing uh, rehashing process to double the given table you look at here here uh, we are having uh, the table size is eight memory locations that is uh, two power uh, three so after uh, after inserting uh, nine this is sixth element so when after inserting the sixth element which is reaching the 75 percentage that means uh, uh, six divided by eight so which is 0 0.75 so it reaches the threshold value once it reaches the threshold value we have to apply the rehashing process the rehashing process will do two things one is double the size of hash table so here uh, which will the the 2 power 3 will be incremented into the 2 power 4 that is 16 memory locations so the table is uh, uh, made into bigger size of 16 memory buckets and also the elements which are stored in the old table to be uh, uh, transferred into the new table based upon the table size so here the table size is 16 so we have to apply the k mod 16 here we have applied k mod 8 so here uh, we have uh, we have to rehash rearrange the element based upon the k mod 6 for example when you are taking the 20 so 20 when you are applying the 20 mod 16 then it will be stored in the fourth location so you look at here here 20 is stored in the fourth location here also to fourth location for example 31 so 31 is uh, uh, here 31 mod 8 so it will give me it is giving a 7 okay so but when you are applying here uh, 31 mod 16 it is giving 15 so 31 is uh, stored in the 15th memory location so we have to rehashing rearranging the elements in the has a uh, newly uh, created hash table uh, here uh, this threshold value is called load factor this threshold value is called load factor so uh, we, we can fix the load factor manually uh, before starting of the program so the load factor is measures measure uh, which is deciding when we have to increase the hash map or hash table size to increase or to maintain the uh, hash table 
during storing the elements into the uh, hash table or searching the elements into searching elements from the hash table with the time complexity of uh, order of one the default value of the load factor of the hash table or hash map is 75 percentage of uh, table size that is 0 0.75 the load factor decides when to increase the number of buckets uh, to store the keys in the hash table when you are having the highest load factor uh, there is a possibility of lower space consumption but higher lookups that means uh, whenever you are inserting the element into table right whenever you are inserting the element into the table you have to check is it reaches the 75 percentage of threshold or not we have inserted only one element even though inserted one element you have to check one by eight right less than the 75 percentage that is the 0 0.75 okay so we have to check after inserting the second element so second element out of uh, two number of elements available in the hash table out of eight memory location we have to check 75 percentage uh, of the threshold after inserting the three elements out of eight memory locations again we have, we have to check is it smaller than the 75 percentage so the lookup will be more higher number of lookups will be needed uh, when you are taking the highest load factor and smallest load factor here when you are having the a large space okay large space consumption when you are having a more number of uh, data to be inserted but when you are having the smaller load factor you have to keep on increase the table size frequently so suppose if it is 2 power 2 then you have to so after inserting the two elements or three elements in immediately you have to make into 2 power 3 so after inserting the six elements here again you have to increase into the 2 power 4 that is 16 memory location so like that frequently how to uh, make the changes when you are having the smallest load factor right so here the load factor can be calculated by using the formula initial capacity of the hash table here in our case uh, 8 is the hash table multiplied with the load factor of the hash table the load factor is here we are fixing uh, 75 percentage of the hash table so that is given here so uh, when you are multiplying the 8 into 0 0.75 so one uh, number of elements are allowed right number of elements are allowed when we have to increase the hash table when when you are inserting the sixth element into the table you should increase the hash table size right so once the sixth element is entered into the hash table you should increase the hash table size from eight memory locations into two power four 16 memory buckets that's what we have to do here right uh, here the numerical example has been given uh, to calculate the load factor before increasing the hash table we should check it for each element when you are inserting so the initial capacity is 8 and the total number of memory buckets also 8 so total number of memory buckets also 8 uh, then uh, here the 75 uh, percentage of the load factor is a default load factor then how many number of entries are allowed with 75 percentage of load factor so hash table size and 75 percentage so six numbers uh, uh, six entries can be allowed so when you are entering the sixth entry you, sh you should make uh, hash table uh, increasing size increasing so here um, uh, we will calculate uh, the load factor the number of elements available uh, in the hash table divided by total number of buckets in the hash table right so i am inserting the first element for example as per our example uh, our uh, given example 24 so i am inserting the 24 into the uh hash table so that is the first element in the hash table so here m equal to one then total bucket sizes uh, buckets total number of buckets in the hash table is eight so here i am calculating the load factor for first element one by eight is 0 0.125 like that uh, after calculation you have to check this 0 0.125 is uh, less than or greater than to the threshold value is 0 0.75 so yes it is smaller than the 0 0.75 so no need to 
increase the hash table size after inserting the first element like that you have to insert the second element so second element is here uh, 31 after inserting the 31 here we have to calculate the load factor for second element so load factor for second element uh, here 2 divided by 18 so here you will get uh, 0.125 so it is less than uh, so not 0 0.125 so here you will get 1 by 4 I think 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 less than 8 so yes it is true so no need to increase the hash table size like that you have to calculate the um, uh, 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 calculate the load factor for third element uh, fourth element and fifth element and sixth element so when you are applying the sixth element you will get the uh, uh, 0.75 which is equal to the load factor default load factor 0.75 that means 0 0.75 equal to 0 0.75 once it reaches the equal uh, same value then we have to increase the hash table size right so hash table size will be incremented by uh, applying the that uh, 2 power 3 earlier 8 memory location now this will be incremented by 1 right so 2 power 4 equal to 16 memory locations will be uh, uh, applied to increase the hash table size so then we can uh, imp uh, we have to apply the rehashing we have to rearrange the element into the new hash table which is having 16 memory locations so that will be done by using the reassing approach then we can up, uh, insert the new data and uh, search the data with the order of time complexity uh, order of 1 so now we will uh, we will see when can we apply the uh, rehashing all right so here whenever our hash table is uh, half of the hash table is full we can go for a uh, rehashing approach or if we can fit some uh, threshold value like 0.75 or 0 0.6 uh, i mean 60 percentage of the hash table or 50 percentage of the hash table like that okay you can fix some certain threshold level or whenever insertion is fails okay so whenever suppose same numbers are occupying the uh, i mean two numbers are occupying the same memory location then uh, collision will be occurred at that time also you can apply the uh, uh, rehashing by uh, incrementing the hash tables so uh, this can be done by uh, load factor calculation whenever load factor is increases rehashing is required so load factor is needed uh, uh, need to be calculated based upon the insertion of keys so which is used to uh, make the time complexity order of one to access and also store the elements in the uh, hash table so this is the very much important uh, before rehashing thanks for watching